Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Eid. I'm from New York University, Abu Dhabi, and I would like to present our work on a comparison of vibrotactile feedback and EMS for motor response during active hand movement. Wearable haptic technologies have garnered widespread attention due to increased accessibility, functionality, and affordance. Vibrotactile stimulation is probably the most popular since vibrotactile actuators are small in size, easy to control, and more importantly, affordable and expressive. On the other hand, EMS, a technique that applies electrical pulses to the user's muscles in order to involuntarily contract them, is becoming a hot topic as it provides a similar set of advantages in addition to its ability to provide force feedback. Both technologies can be applied at various body parts as shown in these many examples. The purpose of this study is to compare vibrotactile stimulation and EMS uh, to elicit a motor response during active hand movement. We created an experimental setup for this purpose that included a strip of five LEDs for visual uh, feedback, a vibration motor, a 9 degrees of freedom IMU for tracking the hand movement, and an EMS system. The stimulation cues were all set to 500 milliseconds with a 95% plus detectability. We opted for touching or avoid touching the face as the experimental task, since it's an everyday's uh, motor task that goes often without thinking. Um, participants were asked to uh, wear the wristband and keep their hand on a table in front of them. Uh, they were then prompted to uh, touch their face during which sensory feedback was provided in the form of visual, fibrotactile, or EMS. Uh, we recruited a total of 45 participants, each completed 100 trials. 70% of these trials were for the control condition where no feedback was provided, and 30% uh, were divided equally among the three modalities. We calculated the response time and error rate. On the left-hand side, you see that EMS and fibrotactile feedback have a significantly shorter response time compared to visual feedback. On the right hand side, you can see that EMS has significantly um, smaller error rate compared to visual feedback. We also uh, conducted a survey to capture the user experience where all participants reported no pain or fatigue for all the modalities. It's worth noting that um, 93% of participants reported vibrotactile feedback as pleasant, whereas only 60% of participants reported EMS as pleasant. In summary, EMS feedback can be more favorable in critical applications where errors must be avoided, whereas vibrotactile feedback is more convenient for non-critical applications due to its lower cost and higher usability. Thank you.